Hey guys, so if you've been watching uh, Joey's post today, you know how crazy our morning was. So, Jay's just now getting some breakfast. So, come along with me. You can see how our, our kitchen's set up. I had my girl Ashley get our donuts because they weren't in the best spot for us. So let's see what we've got here. Ooh, chocolate. Oh, half a chocolate. Who the hell took half a chocolate donut? Okay. Not good, B. <laughs> Not cool. I'm going to help you, okay? Okay. I got to switch my glasses. Can you tell me see you? Yeah. yeah. So maybe this wasn't the best idea to yeah, put it on the stove. It's all right. We may do. Hello. <laughs> I'll get the other one, okay? Mm -hmm. Everyone has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is. Tell me why there's two pigs in a blanket. The other box says pigs in a blanket. But. The sugar was calling me. And now I'm starting to feel human again. Even though you have not had your coffee yet. Coffee is coming up next. And then we'll talk about what I wanted to talk about. Hey guys, pigs in the blanket. Uh oh. Wait. There's actually two left. I thought there was two left. Yeah. So, if I could just relax my hand, it just seems like I have a Excited and jumping, I try to do everything at once, and then that's when we drop stuff. So, sometimes I just gotta take it a little bit slower, although that means I'll be eating a second or two later. Two or three. And obviously, you can see I didn't get care about the plate, because, uh, yeah. Well, this is going to I'm feeding my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can put them all if you think we'll kill them. I didn't even eat breakfast either. I did that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I just added coffee. I took my vitamins, and that's all I did. No breakfast. So we're, kind of, we're kind of running on autopilot, I think. Yeah, guys, you're, you're watching this reload because this is... Today was a hellified morning, but thanks to Sybil and Samantha for helping us out, because okay. without y'all, we would have been shit out of luck. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you. We love you.
What's your topic today? I was going to talk about speechless on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. So, just taking the game to the floor here. So we got breakfast on the floor. I'm done. That is, it's terrible. Then my beloved Hollywood thinks I dropped food for him, which, which no, I did not do. But our beloved Hollywood that decided to take a leak on the floor this morning and made Joey have to go clean it up and jack up her knee. Crawling on a hard floor is yeah. not fun. I don't know, but that's what I did. So that's all. That's a mark on the mark. It's more of a stress. It's more of a stress for me because I'm so here to enjoy it. So, keep going out there. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I wanted to go talk about your... Yeah. I'll be there in a few seconds. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think the date was close. No, it's fine. So Joey's gonna make me some coffee. We're gonna go get a another water for her. Come with me. Okay, guys, let's go over here and bring some coffee, shall we? Jesus, you want.
Okay. 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 But what I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, about speechless on Friday. Now, it was actually pretty cute. JJ was, and Maya were at a at a store, and just JJ and Kenneth were minding their own, doing their own thing, and Maya on her "I've got to be better" kick decides to volunteer JJ to be a role model. Well. I can vouch for him. At 18, I really didn't care to be a role model to anybody else, much less another crib. Um, because I still try to figure myself out. I mean, hell, you're 18. You're in your last year of school. You're just trying to get your your legs under you and what kind of do you want? Uh, caramel okay. and so why add the, the baggage of, an, of trying to steer another kid in, in the right direction so and she t tells this kid that uh JJ's a world-renowned comedian because this kid wants to be a comedian. Well, his jokes are, they're cute, but they're kind of juvenile in that they're all wheelchair jokes. Um, which is fun. I mean, we... Help Joey and I make fun of ourselves all the time just because that's just what you do. But his were the kind that were like essentially why did why does the wheelchair across the road kind of jokes and There, you know, so those are they're cute from the kid standpoint, but when if you're gonna be a stand up comedian, that's gonna get old quickly. And of course, JJ he doesn't speak, he uses his uh, his word board. So he didn't understand how he could pull off this comedian act that he was supposed to be that Maya had gotten for him. I kind of interpreted it like she had just said that and he wasn't really... Because then that's when they're like, uh, well, actually his jokes are for kids and then they're just trying to get him out of it. And that's how, what I thought about it. Yeah, and... And then when he's he's like, let's finally he 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 decides to d just be real with the kid, and he's like, you know, I'm not a comedian. I'm just just JJ. I'm just trying to find my own way in the world, and. 
some days my life sucks and some day and some days it doesn't and I'm not gonna lie lie to you that you to get where you want to be you've got to really work hard and it was it it actually turned out to be really good, even with my trying to screw it up. Of course, the other two pl- plots of the show were kind of throwaway plots to yeah, me. Yeah, that was kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, Ray, he went into a support group for people that had issues from uh, having crip family members to people that had lost a loved one. Oh, is that, I thought, I meant like how he was um, showing his dad everything and like, oh, his that dad was, was two. Oh, that was two? Uh, yes. Oops. Yeah, you okay. just. That was cute anyway. Okay. <laughs> that was cute. Okay. I'll stuff my face now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah, she enjoyed it. That that was kind of cute. I mean, he's, you know, Ray's. It's the nerdy, old, uh, nerdy younger brother, and he's trying to find his way, trying to get good with the girls and everything, and royally screwing up at every turn just because he's so awkward. He's like, he's like the awkward that JJ is because JJ is a crip and is trying to learn how to get around that. And, but JJ is cool because he can talk to people and he knows how to talk to people. Um, and then Dylan is the youngest of the of all of them. She is she thinks she's a badass and she always has to be brought back down off her pedestal to uh, know where she is in the grand scheme of things, but. Overall, I liked the whole thing with JJ um, embracing the whole role model thing. Um, the reason why I embrace it is because um, it's because that's what we're here for. We started this whole thing to be a role model for Crips or anybody who feels left out out or out of place or uh, like Joey said in one of her other vlogs, a mutant. Um, So I really enjoyed that. That uh, part of the episode. And like I said yesterday in in your our, your story vlog, everybody has a story. Everybody deserves to be heard for something or another. You've got something to offer. So So the the giveaway to, again, and it might be redundant, is to be yourself and you might not be, you might not think that you're worthy of being a role model, but there's always somebody that will look up to you. 
So given that, I'm going to finish my breakfast and have my coffee and I will talk to you guys later and be good to yourself, be good to each other.